Are you experiencing the pain that is Silhouette? Silhouette Studio, Silhouette Design Store, SilhouetteAmerica.com right now? We all are. Here's the thing. I've got some tricks in the next series of videos of how you can use the fabulous Silhouette Studio and your Silhouette Cameo, your Silhouette Portrait, whatever Silhouette machine it is that you have without experiencing a whole bunch of these errors. I'm gonna show you in a series of videos how to access Silhouette Studio without all of the syncing errors. I'm gonna show you how to set up a system, your own offline system, out of a Silhouette system to uh, organize your design files. I am going to show you some other places that you can not only purchase them, but also store them and some tricks on how to set up a system that you are not relying on the library, okay? And we are gonna get to the bottom of this because I know, I know you have crafting to do, you have work to do, you have things to do in Silhouette Studio. And at this point we are on day like 30 or something. We're not gonna deal with that anymore. You ready to do this? All right, let's go with this first video. Make sure that you follow the whole series that will be here on YouTube and on the blog. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to start in Silhouette Studio. So the I know that the most urgent thing for many people is the ability to get their library to work. So um, if you go into Silhouette Studio and you click library, what you're going to see is down here, you probably have an error. And if you sync, you are probably going to continue to have errors. So the issue that Silhouette is experiencing right now is the fact that anything that is basically trying to connect to the Silhouette server is running into an issue. That just means if you are using the cloud, if you are trying to go to the Silhouette website, if you are trying to download things from your um, Silhouette account into your library, all of these things are synced basically through an online server. So the easiest way to avoid the server is to stop the sync. And what that means is putting your Silhouette Studio into an offline mode. So this is essentially going to mean that your library is not going to be updated automatically. It's not going to constantly be trying to get the information from the Silhouette website. It doesn't mean you can't use your library. It doesn't mean you can't use Silhouette Studio, but it does mean that you will stop getting all of these errors. So what I would suggest that you do is from Silhouette Studio and the library, go over here and click your name. And then you're going to have the option here to work offline. So that just means Silhouette is not going to continue to try to sync, okay? So you still have the ability to get all of your designs. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, um, a design in your library that has a green check mark means that it is on the cloud, okay? See how it says synced to and it has my email address? That means it's on the Silhouette cloud. It is not taking up storage on my computer. It would be available whether I signed on to this computer or say my husband's computer with the same Silhouette account, it would be accessible on multiple computers. Then you have these um, little logo where it's the blue um, lock. That means that it is from the Silhouette Design Store. Okay, so those are also synced on your cloud. And then there's a third type that is a little gray X, and that doesn't mean that it's not working. It just means that it's local only. It's not on the cloud. It doesn't mean anything about how you can access it on the computer that you're on. However, if I was to sign on to my into my Silhouette library or my Silhouette Cloud account on another computer, like on my husband's computer, or if you have another computer in another workspace or office or whatever, any any uh, product or design that has an X will not be available because it's basically stored on your local computer, meaning the one that I'm looking at right now, not it's not available in my Silhouette Cloud. However, on my computer that I'm on right now, I can access all of these. So if I click this one, it opens. If I go back to the library and I click this one, it's also going to open, okay? If I go back to my library and I click this other one that has um, this, where, let me find one, the, this, um, this one right here with the X, it is also going to open. So the point is that putting your Silhouette library in offline mode just stops the actual sync, okay? So that's number one. The number two thing is that I do not recommend, and nor have I ever recommended, using the Silhouette library as your main source of storage. 
First of all, this is the type of situation that we get into when we rely on a cloud that we don't have a whole lot of control over and also that is not super reliable to begin with. So when you store all of your designs, and you can see I have a lot of them, 4,300. Most of this stuff is, is stored elsewhere as well. As well. Um, but when you store everything in your library and then there's a problem with the server, or let's say your computer crashes or Silhouette Studio crashes, and all of this stuff in your library is kind of stuck here, you have no other way to get it, that's a problem, especially if you're trying to run a business or you're, you're heavy into crafting and all, you've got all of your designs tied up here. I know that a lot of people believe that when they start with Silhouette Studio, the only place or Silhouette, the only place to get designs is from the Silhouette Design Store and they have to use the library. Neither one of those things is true. Not even either, neither one of those things in either combination is true. So you can use Silhouette Studio without even having a Silhouette machine. You can use Silhouette Studio completely in offline mode. You can create your own file system that your, your designs that you buy or purchase or get for free elsewhere, they are not going to be A, in studio file uh, format, so they won't be proprietary just to the Silhouette Studio software. You can use them in Canva if you want. And they will not be stuck in your library. So in the second part of this video, or the second part of this series, I'm going to show you how to set up your own system in a free area of um, Google Drive. You can also do this on your laptop. You can do this in, in an external hard drive as well. I'm going to show you how to set up your own file system so that you are not relying on the Silhouette Studio library. So make sure you check out that. In the meantime, I want you to go to your library and I want you to turn off the work offline option. I want you to turn on the work offline option so that you're not getting all of these syncing errors while you're trying to use Silhouette Studio.